Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to Garden School. Well, we've been starting some seeds recently and uh, one thing we did was put those seed trays on heat mats and let's take a look at what's happened with those seedlings on the heat mats. Now most vegetable seeds will germinate between 50 and 100 degrees but the sweet spot seems to be somewhere between 65 and 85, something like that. So that might give you a guideline. One exception in the vegetables is spinach. It wants to have a cooler soil temperature. So just remember that when you're starting spinach seeds. I was very surprised that these seeds germinated in only four days. And I was pretty surprised about that for these little kale seeds but that is due to the warm conditions that the seeds were planted in. The trays are now on heat mats. Now, if you didn't do heat mats, you might have more like eight to 10 days, perhaps for germination, but we've got really good germination here with the supplemental heat. So I wanted to show you what the temperature is here in my garage. Um, I have some leek seedlings that have germinated and they are no longer on heat mat. And you can see it's 60, 61 degrees. That's the soil temperature. Now let's check the soil temperature of the kale seeds that's on, that are on the heat Wow, mat. right here, we've got 87 degrees. That's nice and cozy and warm. I checked some of the other cells and they ranged from the lower 70s up to here, now we've got 88. Now, once our seeds have germinated, they're gonna need some supplemental light. Before germination, most seeds don't need that extra light. But you know what? I'm here in my garage where there's a window and there is some ambient light around. So even if I was starting some seeds that do want a little bit of light for germination, they would probably be planted on the surface of the soil and not covered, and then they would just receive the light they need from the window, perhaps. But most, uh, most seeds, most of our vegetable seeds, will germinate without any supplemental light. However, once those seeds have germinated, they do need supplemental light, and that is for producing the food for the plant. Now that the seed has germinated and the roots are starting to go down, that radical root, and we see the first little cotyledon leaves, the seed needs some more, the plant needs supplemental food, and that is produced through photosynthesis. Thus, we need the, a supplemental lighting. Now you can get very technical and go to quite an expense when it comes to lighting. I'm just using a shop light here, and I probably will bring this light down just a little bit lower so that it's um, a little bit closer to the growing seedlings. But uh, a windowsill probably isn't going to have a strong enough light for your seedlings. You're probably going to need some supplemental light. Now, you can, there's some talk about different wavelengths of light and intensity of light. I will say, do your research on what you wanna do, how much you wanna spend, and then go with what you have. But there will, there is a need for some extra lighting. Well, how much light do my seedlings need? Typically, they're gonna need somewhere between 12 and 18 hours of supplemental light in a day. And I've got mine set on a timer. I think it's for about 15 hours right now. Maybe it's 16 hours. So set it on a timer if you have that. If you don't, just set a timer for yourself and get up and turn your lights on when they need to come on and then off. They do need a rest period. So that's very important for a plant that there is a required dark period in the 24 hour day. So you don't want the light on 100% of the time. Well, I hope you're gonna have fun 
with the heat mats, the germination of your little seedlings, and then using some lighting. There's always more to learn in the garden. Bye-bye.